So here it is the next day. Um, I didn't get as far as I wanted to yesterday because these bolts and these axles were really giving me a hard time. Uh, probably from being up here in the northeast corner of the uh, country. Um, a lot of snow and salt and rust and things like that. So these bolts were pretty tough shape. They wouldn't work. They wouldn't come out. I, got, I went off camera because I was getting frustrated. I was getting angry. I didn't want you guys to see that. Um, I used every form of persuasion that I own. I used um, my impact wrench. I tried um, you know, the, the um, penetrating oil, I used heat, and ultimately I had to cut them off with the Sawzall. The Sawzall is what worked best. I ended up using a blade for every two bolts. It kind of sucked, you know, but that was the only way I could get these things off because of the way they were in. I mean, I, I tried my cutoff wheel. That did just because of the, it just didn't fit in there. The only thing I could get to fit in there was the Sawzall. So that's how I was able to get the bolts off this side. For the um, the flange, the axle flange, that you know, the uh, the, the plate that holds the axle in, um, it's supposed to just slide out. It's not that simple. You can see here it was frozen. It rusted in pretty good, but once it freed up, I had to heat it up. Had to heat up the axle tube to get this to come out, and uh, now that it's out, we're in pretty good shape. Um, so I was skeptical. I thought maybe I had some sort of weird uh, truck or something, because everything I was reading says no. You just take out those four bolts, and these axles come out. And man, I was having a hard time with it. And uh, no, it's true. It's just uh, it's a son of a bitch to get them up. So. I'm going to work on the other side and start cutting those off, getting it up, and then uh, and then we can start cutting the brackets and stuff off this uh, off this tube. So yeah, that kind of sucked, but it worked. I got it out and uh, just persistence and and keep on at it. And the heat, the heat really worked. I used this map gas heat heat up the tube, popped it right out. I had to beat the shit out of it though. So, let me tell you something about this. You all know what this is. This is a sawzall or a reciprocating saw. I hate these things. They're so necessary when you need to use them, but I just hate them so much. They, they just. It beats the crap out of me when I use these things, and and I dread it so badly. I will go to any other length than to use this thing. But at this point, I don't have another option. I have to use it for this. The, the, the space that I have to get this in there, my grinder doesn't work. My cutoff wheels don't work. I have to use this thing, and it's just killing me. I hate this thing so much. So... Yeah, tell me what you guys think about the Sawzall. I hate it, but you guys might love it. I don't know, but man, I'm struggling with this. So I think the important thing to do is take a break with it. Don't let it, uh, particularly when you're cutting bolts and stuff, don't let it heat up too much and pretty much melt the tips of your saw, you know, your saw uh, teeth. So I kind of just uh, take my time with it. But man, I hate this thing. Ugh. One down. Three to go.
Thank God. Hopefully I don't have to use that thing too many more times. Um, oh, I just hate that. I get a headache after. It's just, oh, I just hate it. But it's done. All four bolts are out. Good. So I got all the bolts out. And again, on this side, the axle is just not sliding out as easy as I hoped. So we're going to have to heat up the tube again. I'm going to make this area nice and hot right in here. Hopefully that frees up the, um, there's a, I think it's just really the seal that's holding it in there. I don't think it's really pressed in with anything else. So, just got to heat that up, start pounding on it, and see what happens. There it is. Whew. Woo. So she get living in New England. So I've got my axles out, just pretty much stripped down as much as it's going to be as far as things that I that I can bolt, unbolt from it and stuff like that. So now I've got to take off all these extra brackets that I'm not going to need because I'm going to, everything's in a different place on the S10 so I don't need any of the brackets on here. So I'm going to clean these up. I'm going to cut the spring purchase off, cut the mounting brackets for the shocks off, uh, this other bracket. I'm just going to cut all that stuff off and uh, clean up the tubes. Grind them down so they make a nice clean surface to uh, to weld to. Uh, so when I put my new brackets on, we'll be good. Stuff some rags in the end of the tubes to keep debris from getting in there, and I put the uh, the cover back on. So um, hopefully that'll that'll keep the uh, undesirable stuff from getting inside. And it's going to get a full cleaning anyway, but I just want them to um, to 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 limit it as much as possible. So that's where I'm at. So here you have it. Um, this is the the end result of two days worth of work. I finished cutting off all the brackets, pretty much disassembling this to the point where um, I can start working with it. It's going to be a little lighter, a little easier to move around when I'm trying to place it inside the truck. Then I'll know where to put the brackets, I'm going to weld the brackets on, get all that stuff done. But that's a little further down the road. I have to start cleaning up the frame now. I have to take apart. Take the axle, the existing axle out of the truck, take the springs out, clean up the frame, get my new springs, get my new brackets, place everything together, get the uh, all the angles right and everything. But for now, this is this is how it came out. The tubes came out pretty clean. Um, they're pretty pitted because you know this is a New England truck, so a lot of the rust, you know, penetrated pretty deep into these tubes. So I couldn't get it perfect, but it's going to be good enough. I'm probably going to do some sort of uh, hammered finished paint on this, so it's kind of going to kind of cover that up a little bit. So it's not going to be a show truck. It's just 
just going to be something reliable and something cool. So, yeah, that's pretty much the results. This is what um, this is what I came up with. It was a lot of work, and I hate that sawzall. Thank you.